hello everyone welcome back to easy tutor in this video we are going to see uh, one interesting module pretty table so i'll tell you uh, what it is and uh, when we need this particular module basically you could have seen uh, for some command line tools uh, you could have seen some nice tables in the terminal terminal itself so this is what about uh, how to come up with that uh, table format in terminal and how to align and how to populate that from different data sources so this is all about this video is going to be so let's jump into the video so here uh, I have my uh, Jupyter notebook open and this is a module called a pretty table and uh, you can have a, a look at PyPI about that uh, documentation and I'll show you uh, here you search for Pretty table. Yeah, this is the one you install using pip install pretty table. That's it. Now here um, I have already installed. I'll show you. Here I have my virtual environment. I'm pasting pip install pretty table. Should say uh, already satisfied. Oh, that's it. Uh, now let's come to uh, how to use this first. We need to import few uh, modules from that pretty table module and for that from pretty table import pretty table here p and t caps and from db cursor i have imported i will tell you why i have imported that so after that this is a main class from here we need to instantiate one object that's called uh, our table object from here only we need to uh, add basically rows or uh, column wise data uh, to our table so here I'm going to show you uh, three type of data source to populate this table and one is like uh, I have uh, added here some dummy data uh, we are going to populate a table from this data basically this is a little list of dictionary so I'll show you how to populate this for that uh, table has one method called add rows uh, first let's loop over our data for d in data and now d contains the individual columns and uh, before that we need to have field names field names is nothing but uh, what are going to be the headers or the column names for this uh, for our table for that you can simply say see uh, if you're going to get the data from uh, a well-known uh, format formatted data like uh, whatever I have we have declared here like a name subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 these are going to be the columns and the relevant values but what I'm going to do is data of 0 dot keys so I'm going to say and uh, after that I'm looping over and I'm going to add table dot add row for that let's just initiate this okay um, sorry table is not defined okay let me run this cell okay import it now this one fine now let's do for d in data here I'm going to add table dot add a row or column column wise data also you can add if you are going to add by column wise uh, data you need to select all these uh, student one student one student one. I actually I didn't uh, replace the values so all this uh, name key of all the individual dictionaries you should fetch and add it to add column uh, now I'm going to try add row and here I'm going to add first one a name and uh, the second one subject one and third one fourth one is just three is going to be two okay so now I have included and this is supposed to be a list and that's it we have added all the rows uh, from our data variable now let's try to print to the table 
okay that's it yeah this is a neatly formatted data for us okay now we have our uh, pretty table here with whatever the uh, titles we have mentioned as field names and the relevant values in the rows this is how uh, simply uh, creating one pretty table and printing it uh, while printing we have different options we can get html string as well uh, you can see uh, this will give you a html string which is nothing but a html formatted table if you are um, exporting your data to a file which is a html format you can utilize this one uh, and apart from that uh, we can have uh, we can prepare pretty table using some other data sources as well this is using our uh, straight away uh, a python variable list of dictionaries i will show you another method as well for that you can get uh, you can prepare this pretty table from db itself directly so whatever uh, the input is required is your db cursor which has uh, your selected data to demonstrate that i have my sqlite db here uh, this sample db i have downloaded from online which has uh, song and artist based details uh, here i have just uh, initiated a connection and created one cursor and just uh, simply selected all the artists here so i am going to create a table using from db cursor which is what we have imported here for this purpose uh, to generate pretty table out of our cursor now i am passing my cursor here and that's it we have created the table and i am simply printing the table as usual so let me run this one to read the db that's it that's it done now i am printing this you can see these are artist details from db you can see uh, there is a huge list and now you can see uh, the this artist uh, name is ugly because it's a center uh, align data so for that you can uh, align the data using uh, field names for that you can uh, i'll show you example uh, from this one uh, what happened field names keys incorrect number of values okay have we deleted something incorrect number of values fields should be 4 and here 1 2 3 4 ok 4 by 4 data is correct only ok sorry ok so you know uh, because uh, since we use the same variable here it tried to attempt uh, to add uh, to reflect the same data because here we have only two columns here we have four columns so I, if we run this again the table object will get initiated again then we prepare this data yeah here we have a center align these uh, values 80 67 75 now i am going to align this to left uh, left align one particular uh, column for that I am going to say table align of uh, let's say do for subject 1 equal to L. L is left and R is right and default is center. Okay. You can see subject 1 has come to the left. If you want to see uh, right do it will come to right align so this is how we align the data and we can furthermore decorate this table as well and you can uh, uh, one more data source i was i forgot to discuss is like uh, you can generate from csv as well you import from csv and from csv i try to uh, give a file handle for this uh, from csv module and uh, you will get the table right here okay that uh, from csv uh, from csv you can uh, try it out and here uh, i was explaining this alignment and we can have further styles as well for our table like uh, 
there is something called a must word friendly so this is like uh, this a hyphen and plus marks to decorate this table data this will be uh, used like a, a ms word compatibility for that we can say set style of ms word friendly and let's try to print this okay you can see like this it will come and uh, there is something called a plain columns as well plain columns you can use the same and check how it comes uh, yeah sorry uh, run and run yes without any borders and all so let's comment it out now and we have something called horizontal rules and vertical uh, rules as well run this Okay. okay now this one yeah this one so you can see this horizontal rules are uh, here so you can enable or disable this and vertical rule also you can uh, disable or enable here i am trying to disable see this vertical line has gone so like that we can uh, design this uh, table to our purpose however you want however you want to align and this will uh, reflect in the terminal as it is so your data will be clean and neat so this this will be basically useful when you uh, develop a tool command uh, cli based tool it will be very much useful and in addition to this you may use uh, color coding as well i'll uh, i'll uh, tell you how to do color coding in the terminal itself using uh, term color and coloroma modules are there so i'll uh, i'll do that in next video how to colorize this output in uh, terminal itself so try to use this one and uh, so if you like this uh, video please do uh, like share and subscribe thanks for watching